What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And today I'm going to be going through my personal top 10 players in eFootball 2025. Let's go. Alright, so I did a video on the top 10 meta players in the game. Rijkaard, Hullet, Vieira, we all know that, right? But my personal top 10 are split between free-to-play cards as well. And in kicking us off with number 10, we do have one of those free cards, Valverde. Now, I got Valverde as a free spin, so that does qualify him. But he is a player of the week, Valverde. Let me know if you got... Uh, Valverde as well he's an absolute beast his stats are almost perfect he doesn't have that many 90 stats but he's just a brilliantly balanced card and also in number nine I had to put in Petr Cech I don't have Peter Schmeichel and I feel like Cech who's played over 600 games for me which you'll see in a second he's just his presence in the in the box lads is unbelievable for one-on-ones and goalkeepers aren't massively important and he doesn't even have like unbelievable stats compared to Schmeichel and the double booster Schmeichel. But look at the amount of games that I played with him. And I can count on one hand how many mistakes he's made. So that says it all. Next up, we have another free to play account card. And it is the free Santos Neymar. I do actually think that people should have got this Neymar the, no matter when they picked up the game to play it instead of the Frank Ribery. And I covered that in the other video that I'm going to be doing in a few minutes as well or in a couple of days. But this Neymar is incredible. Obviously, the free cards that they're releasing now, which will tie into my next video that I'm doing, they're not as good as they were back then. And this Neymar, lads, was unreal. We also have another free-to-play account card here in Costa Corta. As I said, I split my content 50-50 between free content and free-to-play cards, and obviously the premium cards. Costa Corta needs no explanation, he's just a beast. And look, even though it's just a brand new pack, we had to get a version of Messi in, and we've gone for the Blitz Curler MSN Messi. He's just a broken card, lads. Shout out to the World Cup version as well, but with the Blitz Curler now, and I think obviously the, just, the different way you're able to build this card, he's just, he's just broken right now, he's just absolutely broken. Loads of stats that go past the 90 and 100 threshold, can shoot on both feet, fast, agile, very strong as well, and just an absolute beast player. I do have to put Paolo Maldini in at number 5. Now this could have been Toram, it could have been Cannavaro, could have been Tommy Yashu, I don't have Araujo, but Maldini for me has probably been my mainstay in my defence. Him and Saliba, I kind of questioned the two of them, but that is it for Maldini. Now, number four, we have the main man himself, Highness. Now, lads, believe me, I really did question the position of the next four players, right? Highness is probably my favorite player right now. And I know that contradicts putting him into number four or contradicts putting him into number four, but he's just unbelievably good in this game, lads. Super strong. But I hadn't color any higher than number three. And then I was like, do I want to put him number two? Do I want to put him number one? Personally speaking, lads, for me, just where the gameplay is at at the moment, Collar is definitely my most fun player to use, and I scored tons and tons and tons and tons of goals with him. But I do feel like with the gameplay at the moment and crossing, they've, what they've done to crossing, it just kind of ruins him a little bit. Number two had to be Romario, my favourite ever striker in the game, the best ever striker in the game, in my personal opinion. Better than Mbappe, better than Eto'o, better than Messi. Better than uh, any player that you could possibly think of. Michael Owen Saviola. In my personal opinion, he's just absolutely broken. So much so that I actually don't really play with Romario. And I'm not saying that I'm the best player in the world, but I was scoring a goal a game. I knew that if I started Romario in Division 1, 2, doesn't matter. I would definitely score one game. Even if I lost 4-1, I'd still score Romario. But number one has to be Patrick Vieira. I think the best pound for pound player in the game. If I'm building a squad in the morning, if we had to just like reset our entire squads and we were able to choose one player from the squad to bring through. Yes, my heart would say to bring Collar, but my head would say to bring Patrick Vieira. Probably the best card in the game. No Hullet, no Rijkaard, no Pirlo, none of those in my top 10. But again, this is personal to me, and I do have a couple of players in there like Neymar, Costa Corta. They're not quite meta. You know, you're not going to compare them with the likes of Cruyff, with the likes of Eto'o. But for me, I do think that Patrick Vieira is the number one. Now, let me know your top 10 in the comments below and we might do a quick little community video of kind of calling out your best top 10s as well doesn't necessarily have to be the top meta players in fact i probably have most fun playing this game when i'm playing with my road to glory or my player of the week selections such as with diaz or jokeres or any of those left out a lot of other cards as well so let me know in the comments how wrong i am but that is my personal top 10 